Hey you guys, this is Snowy88 again, and you've probably just seen my uh, video about uh, the Eros map, and I wanted to show you also uh, a Rotterdam map, and these are apparently the servers available, so I'm going to join, if possible, join, you will leave your permit, yes. Wait a second, this is Conquest, Conquest. Yeah, I need Conquest. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's, you know, this game is for me also quite new. Uh, you know, well, the buttons and the control. And here we have it, Rotterdam. Although I'm not born in this city or even born in this region, it's still... It shows my country like it was in the 40s, and I think it looks great, uh, this map. I will show you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, frame rate. Whoa, the frame rate. All right, look at look at this look at these buildings. They are really typical Dutch. And there are even Dutch flags everywhere and all that kind of stuff. The thing I do miss, by the way, in these uh, these shooters is the presence of normal population. You never see them. I mean, in real war, in real war, you see, you know, uh, civilians running around, escaping fire, etc., and more enemy tanks and that kind of things. And these maps are usually quite uh, empty. Now look at this! Just look at this! This is isn't this a masterpiece? Just how this is made. You know, I wish I could be in an empty server, just, you know, to walk around and... Not like being shot every time like that. So I can enjoy the map, or show you the map. Hmm. There is this guy. There was this guy. Oh. Okay. The idea was more I want to show you this map, not, you know, not actually go into combat. Uh, Let's go this way, maybe. Okay, look at that. The text, what's what's written over there. And like these poles, they you find them more in Amsterdam than in Rotterdam. Squad needs a T-48, a 57 millimeter gun. These coordinates. And it says Firma Snabil, never heard of it. Pelerijen, Boogman and Rekkers, Jeha Kloosterman. So that's typical uh, Dutch term and these are more like Amsterdam canals instead of Rotterdam canals but okay oh I'm leaving the area that's not the uh J. Edelman clearmaker so a clearmaker is a cloth maker J. 
Edelman is his name, of course. Opened. Yeah, trying to show, show, trying to show you something, but mm. yeah, okay, I understand because yeah, okay. Okay. So if this thing is broken, you can even repair it. Yeah. Coverage has this uh, machine gun. You know, only 15 degrees? That's worthless. If I played Battlefield 1, I would have sit here and play, get my mortar and shoot at the enemy from a distance. Far more easy. <laughs> Typical Dutch uh, buildings. Cannot exactly what's the, what it says there. The Gekwee de Haring. Okay. Inside. How far can we go upstairs? I want to go there. Can I not go there? No, I cannot go there. Well, let's try this. Okay. Uh, how to detonate that without do collateral damage? Gotta be kidding me. I cannot remember Rotterdam even had this kind of structure, uh, this huge structure. That's my own. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Let's build something. Don't know why, but <laughs> I just like it. I think it's a nice aspect of the game, actually. You can build fortifications uh, around your around your flag.
Okay. Nobody inside. Attention, we are losing objective able. Okay, there's, there's a guy there. burst in flames yes enemy hit i did hit him but not enough sadly enough let's go to the building again let's see I could help him, but nope. What's the general idea of this uh, map is like uh, they have done a great job and now I'm playing a little bit, um, uh, you know, to show the map, not really. Yeah, to show the map, not really to, to you know, have really in gameplay mode, because I don't have... Uh, I don't have all my sounds available. Uh, look at this. It's, yeah, it's more it's more like Amsterdam than Rotterdam. I have to be honest with that. Three tickets left. We have taken objective Here we go again. <laughs> ah, it's just a tryout. Give me some credit. Uh, it's a uh, second time I play this game now. Only second time. Yesterday I played it like an hour or so and I completely was kicked uh, in, in, in the ass. And I'm still getting kicked in the ass. So the game is nearly done. Let's go down. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. This is uh, Battlefield 5. Uh, well, it appears I have a, a lot of gameplay to do in order to, uh, you know, get a little bit better than this. But it gives you a good impression about uh, what this game is all about. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's a nice successor to Battlefield 1. Maybe they have to tweak a little few things here and there, and I'm still um, um, I am still uh, to the opinion that this game does not deserve all the discredit it got. Uh, maybe maybe from EA that EA did uh, the wrong things, but not the guys from Dice who uh, made a terrible terrible good game. And um, I also have to point out that uh, that uh, many of us uh, Battlefield fans are really waiting for Battlefield Bad Company 3. That's a serious uh, notification towards DICE uh, guys do something with Battlefield Bad Company 3. That's also a game we are waiting for. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, see you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, bye bye.